Speaker, the Prime Minister's statement to the media today regarding what he knew about the nature of the allegations against General Vance contradicts everything we've heard so far. Multiple witnesses have testified at Defence Committee that the allegations were sexual misconduct. The Prime Minister's staff were copied on emails from the Privy Council office that specifically stated sexual harassment. Does the Prime Minister really expect Canadians to believe he knew nothing about the allegations against General Vance? The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, our government um, has absolutely no tolerance against any type of misconduct. And something that uh, we have focused on. Mr. Speaker, I find it rich that the um, leader of the official opposition and member opposite are bringing this issue up. When the leader of the opposition knew of issues like this with General Vance, but the previous government made the selection to select General Vance as CDS anyway. Mr. Speaker, we will take bold action for culture change. We have a lot more work to do and we will get it done. Thank you. The Honourable Member for Aurora Oak Ridge's Richmond Hill. Well, Mr. Speaker, actions speak louder than words. The Prime Minister may say that he stands for women, but his actions show that he's part of the problem, not part of the solution. His Chief of Staff knew about the allegations of sexual misconduct against General Vance. His Defence Minister knew. The entire senior leadership of his department knew. But he did nothing for three years. Why did the Prime Minister fail to act on allegations of sexual misconduct at the highest level in Canada's military? Honourable Minister. The Honourable Minister. Sorry, Mr. Speaker. Uh, in this matter, we followed a process that had been laid out by the previous government. I instructed my chief of staff to get in touch with PMO and the Privy Council Office, and they in turn to launch and look into this matter. And a similar path was done in 2015, again, as I stated, Mr. Speaker, by the leader of the, of the opposition. In terms of taking action, M Mr. Speaker, we have outlined additional $236 million to combat uh, sexual misconduct in, in the Canadian Armed Forces. We are taking real action. We know that more work needs to be done, and we will get it done. 